And now to a Fox 6 exclusive. Two police forces half a world away joining forces right here in Milwaukee. Members of the Iraqi police force are training here in Wisconsin. Why? Our Ben Handelman was the only local reporter allowed to witness their training mission to find out. Strapping in. Have your weapons drawn. And preparing for a deadly scenario. A hostage is being held in a room. Armed officers storm in. The threat taken out. Good job, everybody. These are images of a training mission that we are only allowed to show you Stay close. after those involved have left the country. The officers aren't Americans, they are Iraqi police. <laughs> being trained by Milwaukee's finest. Quickly to the threat. We have 10 officers from Iraq that are from all over um, uh, the Baghdad area. Moving, move. This is one of the last days of a three week training mission. They take courses in leadership, they take courses in crime scene, tactical, as today is a tactical, tactical situation we're doing today. Anthony Hovanek is in charge of the Iraq Police Education Program. It's an idea that started following the U.S. operation in Iraq. The police force in that Mideast country needed to learn a whole new way to fight crime. Over three years, the federally funded program has trained nearly 90 Iraqi police officers. These guys get all these new ideas and they hopefully they take them back and, and maybe one or two of them will stick. We have to go in and be ready. In a classroom on Milwaukee's west side, veteran officer Colonel Ali Massar Massan is listening to a presentation. <laughs> I was mostly surprised by the warm welcoming we received here. Through an interpreter, Masan explains what he hopes to learn. I was surprised by the technology and techniques the American use in countering crimes. They're envious of the technology we have and how they could really implement some of that into their make their jobs better. Milwaukee Police Detective Jim Olson is the man responsible for bringing this group to his home city. What we're doing here is we're planting the seed. Talking to the officers that are here, they really look forward to the challenge of policing in a free society. As far as overseas, no, this is the first time. Officer Brad Schley was assigned to train Iraqis basic tactical movements. They still had the fundamentals of how to um, interact with each other, communicate with each other, and do certain movements. We're just teaching them something new, so for them it's new technology. After a couple of hours, students move from the classroom to the training facility. This is going to be a small, diamond-shaped formation. They get practical instruction from some of MPD's finest. Stop. Come to me. At first, it's a little shaky. Keep going. Keep moving. Go, 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 go. But the Iraqi officers are quick learners. They caught on to everything, and they did a very good job. Okay, again. Learning how to take out the bad guys is not the only purpose of this trip. Their eight-day stay in Milwaukee is also cultural outreach. Masan says the short time he has spent in the U.S. has gone a long way toward ending the stereotypes he had of our country. I was completely surprised when I came to the United States that the morals of the American people is not like what I see in the movies and TV. They are completely different. Masan says before his trip, he thought our country was dangerous, and he says the image you may have of his country could be wrong too. However, Iraq is secure from the north to the south. One unified uh, people. And they like each other. And there is no terrorism whatsoever in Iraq. Only very, very small factions. Changing minds and changing how the Iraqis protect their citizens. A dual message MPD hopes the Iraqis take home with them. Change is not going to come easy for them, but they're working very hard at it. And I'll wish him the best of luck and success. Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. Before coming to Milwaukee, the Iraqi police officers also spent a couple of weeks training with Maryland State Police. These trips were made possible through a $5 million federal grant. So why was this visit so top secret? Well, it's really all about safety. Milwaukee police wanted to make sure the Iraqi officers felt completely comfortable and safe when they were here in Milwaukee. And uh, they asked that our story highlighting the Iraqi officers visit only be told after the officer has safely left the country and we're headed back to Iraq, which is what they're doing now. So they're back home, obviously. Yeah. Shootouts, murders, and a manifesto of anger. And now a Milwaukee area connection. The man named in Christopher Dorner's scathing diatribe. 
why the Southeast Wisconsin man's name was there and the connection to the Southern California killer.